In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up advanced ticketing scenarios supported by the auction promoter component in Silent Auction Pro. When you first create an event, Silent Auction Pro automatically creates three default ticket types for you as shown on the ticket report page. An early bird ticket, day of ticket, and a comp ticket. If you've purchased the auction promoter, you can create an unlimited number of more advanced ticket types such as sponsorship tickets, raffle tickets, tickets with included items, and more. This tutorial will explain how to easily create virtually any type of ticket in Silent Auction Pro. For this example, I'm going to show you how to create the advanced ticket types available in the Silent Auction Pro demo group. Here's a look at the purchase page for the demo group. You can see towards the top we've included information about our event. Then down in the ticket section we have three different types of tickets. The Hoot Nanny ticket, the Raffle Ticket 20 pack, and the Silver Sponsorship. Let's see what happens if I choose to purchase a couple Hoot Nanny tickets. You'll notice that the area expands and gives me the ability to enter the purchaser's name and a choice of meal as well as my guest name and the meal choice. The meal choice is an included item with the ticket and something we'll need to set up. Note that the included item really consists of two things, the label the purchaser sees and the list of items from which they can choose. If we choose a raffle ticket 20 pack, Notice that the system doesn't ask for names, nor are there any included choices. Finally, if we choose a silver sponsorship, notice that one silver sponsorship includes six Hootenanny tickets, plus a choice of meal and shirt size. Also notice that the sponsorship ticket shows a different ticket icon, indicating that this is a multiple ticket item. Let's go back to our group and create these ticket types. The first thing we need to do is delete the existing tickets that Silent Auction Pro automatically created, as we're not going to use them. To do so, simply go to the Auction Administrator page, scroll down to the Create and Manage Tickets table, select the ticket that you want to delete, and click the delete button. It'll ask you to confirm if you want to delete it, click OK, and that ticket will have been automatically deleted. Let's go ahead and delete the other two as well. Now we've deleted all the tickets that were automatically created with Silent Auction Pro when you set up your group. Since some of our tickets have included items, meals and t-shirts, it's easiest to create the includes list first as it's less confusing. Let's create the sizes list first. To do that, simply click on the create a list button in the create and manage tickets table on the auction admin page. Here we define the list name and the items in the list. Note that the list name is not the label the purchaser sees, but an internal name you create to represent the list. Let's suppose you were giving away both hats and t-shirts, and the purchaser could specify the size for each. Rather than creating different lists for each hat and t-shirt, if they have the same select options, we can create one list and use that for both. In this case, the one list we will create will be called sizes, and the list will include small, medium, large, and extra large. Separate the values in the list with commas. This will also be the order that they're presented in when you see them in the list. Click Submit to save your changes. Let's go ahead and create the meals list too.
Notice that the lists are now shown down here in this drop-down. We have both meals and sizes as two different lists that we've already created. Now that we have the includes list created, let's go ahead and create that first Hootenanny ticket. To do so, click Create a Ticket. Let's put in the ticket title or label. Let's say sales start two weeks before our event on the 17th. Sales end the day after our event, so really go through the full day of our event. Ticket price is $25. This is an admission ticket. We do want to ask for names. Let's say the sales are limited to perhaps 200 tickets of this type. In this case, one Hootenanny ticket counts as one ticket. We'll see a different number in there when we set up our sponsor ticket later. Let's enter the ticket details. Let's make the ticket color yellow. We want to display this ticket first on the ticket purchase page. This ticket does include choices. Remember, we're going to ask for a meal choice. We do want to enable the ticket purchase so people can purchase this online and we do want to make it available to the public. Tickets that would not be available to the public, for example, would be comp tickets. And then let's go ahead and click the Create Ticket button. This now takes us to the step two, which is adding those optional include items. Here we want to put the label the purchaser sees on the page, for instance, Meal Choice. Then we want to select the list we want to have presented, in this case, Meals. Click Include this item. That's the only item that we're including with this ticket, so click Update Ticket and Done. Let's take a look now at the Preview Ticket Purchase page to see how we're doing. Here's our ticket preview. If I scroll down, I can see I have the Hootenanny ticket has been created. It's available starting October 17th. The price is $25 and if I choose a Hootenanny ticket or two, we can see that we can put the buyer's name in here, a meal choice of chicken, fish, steak, or vegan, and the same for the guest. Now let's go ahead and create the Silver Level Sponsorship Ticket. It's pretty much the same process as we did before. In fact, an easy way to start is to just simply clone an existing ticket and only change what you need to change. In this case it's a new ticket label. Sales start and end on the same date. The price in this case was $100. Still limiting to 200 tickets but in this case one silver level sponsorship ticket actually gets you six total tickets so that's a change. Let's paste in the new description. Let's make this ticket blue. Put it third on the page. Update the ticket. And let's edit the included items. Because we cloned the ticket we have a meal choice already in here let's add a new included item. In this case, t-shirt size is the label we want the purchaser to see, and the list name is sizes. Include this item. Let's make the t-shirt sizes second in the list. Update. And we're done. Let's go take a look again at the preview ticket page. If we scroll down, we can see now we have two tickets created, the Hootenanny ticket we saw earlier and the Silver Level Sponsorship. If we choose one of these, we'll notice that we get six tickets in total, plus we can choose a meal and a t-shirt. Let's finish up by creating the raffle ticket. In this case, we shouldn't clone a ticket because it's a little bit different than the other tickets. So we'll just create a ticket from scratch, put in the title or ticket label, the 
start date. Price was $20. This is a raffle ticket. It's not an admission ticket. We don't need to ask for names. We're not limiting sales. One raffle ticket 20 pack counts as one ticket. And let's put in the details. Let's call this ticket color red is fine. We're going to display it second in the list. There are no choices. We do want to allow people to purchase it though and it is purchasable by the public. And create the ticket. Finally, let's take a look at the ticket preview page to see all of our tickets. I'll scroll down and we can see now we have the raffle ticket 20 pack. If I select one of those, it looks correct. Let's wrap up by now taking a look at the tickets report page. And here we can see our three different tickets, starting in date and other information about the ticket. And if you wanted to, you could actually go directly in here and click on any one of these links to edit the ticket directly.